time. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today um, I'm going to make chocolate covered strawberries. Um, I'm honestly just making them because I'm bored. Yeah, I really just wanted to make them. So yeah, I'm about to take you guys downstairs with me and we're just going to get right into it. I'm not going to do a whole intro because it's really not that hard. So yeah, but you'll see once we get downstairs, so I'll see you in one second. No, no. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I have my phone. We need some light. We need some light. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Now, I have my strawberries. They don't look the best. They don't look as appealing because, come on, focus, focus. Yeah. So, <laughs> I got strawberries. They don't look the best because it's not the season for strawberries, but. I tried to pick the best batch at the grocery store. And then I bought white chocolate, melted white chocolate. And that is Gitarelli's. It's supposed to be a good chocolate. And, and then I got um, Baker's dipping chocolate for the milk chocolate one. So. I'm basically going to warm this up. We're going to do the chocolate one first. So I'm going to warm this up. And it says to remove plastic and blah, blah, blah. Warm for 30 seconds. Stir, repeat until it's melted. So we're basically going to do that for this one. And we're going to do that for this one. And melt it down so we can start sticking these um, strawberries on them. I want a piece of aluminum foil to put them on so they stick better. So... Give me one second, I'm gonna go look for some aluminum foil. Come on, focus, honey. Okay, there we go, we're focused. I have my strawberries, and I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna start with the milk chocolate first. Does it turn out right? Still got white chocolate. Oh, I'm so mad there's no aluminum foil. So we take it off the sale in 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds, because if you overheat it, it'll be hard, and then it'll be can't use it. 30 seconds. Let's just put it for a minute. Take it out. 30 seconds. Place tub. Remove plastic lid and inner seal. Place tub in a dinner size microwave plate. Isn't this microwave? So this is how it looks right now. It's not, it still needs to be melted more. So we're gonna put it in for another 30 seconds. Okay guys, so this is round two. It's almost there. Oh shoot, I think it's there actually. Like maybe I should put it in for like literally a second more. Mm. Oh, that's good. Literally a second. There we go. So I'm gonna try and tilt the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, no, my Gorilla Pot is trash. So I'm just gonna go in. And I already washed my strawberries, so don't come for me. And I'm just gonna go in and twirl it. Twirl it. Or maybe just bob it. Bob it like up and down. And then there you go. I don't have aluminum foil guys, so I had to be ghetto and use plastic bag. So and that's the first one. So we're just gonna keep doing that. These were extra that I had just in case that didn't go right. So we're just gonna keep it doing that. And you have to work quick because this will dry up quick, so.
now um so i did all the chocolates i mean that's how much i have left and it's like kind of i don't know i think the water got into it so like it's kind of chunky now but just be careful when you're doing this to make sure that you don't put the chocolate in for more than 30 seconds and keep looking at it because um it could burn and end up like this luckily this only ended up like this at the end but you get what i'm saying so now i'm gonna go in with, with the vanilla chips and do the white chocolate ones things it's like so therapeutic to me I'm not artsy but baking I'm almost done I have like no more room on this little sandwich bag because I don't have aluminum foil so don't come for me I have like room for one more one more strawberry and that's it because I have room for like one more strawberry and that's it because there's no more space on this little plastic bag Ugh, see this is what I mean and they're super wet like make sure yours aren't wet like mine are because I think the wetness is what's making it clumpy because of the water and the chocolate mixing together it's making it not want to stick see like look at this so clumpy now yeah so a word of advice do not let um like make sure your strawberries are dry when you do this because if you don't it'll make the the chocolate i don't think for a second it'll make the chocolate um clumpy like this you won't be able to stick it to your strawberries. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna put them in the fridge overnight. So hopefully in the morning it'll be hard. And all the chocolate and stuff will be hard. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. come back in 20 minutes i'm just gonna let them lay down and i'll be right back so i'll be back in 20. okay i'm back so um i just want to show you guys what they look like that is how they look and i'm gonna try they're hard now. Yeah, they're all hard. It's all annoying. This one isn't actually dry yet, but... Yes. So, um... Sorry, yeah, guys. Um... That is pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna let them sit for longer. I wanna put them in the fridge, but they're on a plastic bag, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's just not gonna work out without them messing up. It's not gonna work out me trying to put these in. 
let me try to put these in the freaking pan so with that being said i will i will see you guys in my next video um i hope you guys enjoyed this um it's 2020 what do you guys want from me like what do you guys want to see when you come to my channel please let me know in the comments um yeah i just i really want to spice it up more for you so um let me know in the comments as far as what you want to see this year this is my year and we're gonna make every moment count so yeah so i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and um yeah i love you guys so much see you in the next video bye